food brands and the FDA, mainly cereal producers like General Mills and Kellogg's, because the FDA is proposing new guidelines on the term healthy. Like intro for watching moist videos, like I'm sorry cereal. moist. And under these new potential guidelines, their cereals would have to erase that term from their marketing. And they're not too happy about it. They're wiggling their fingers saying, no, no, no. You just watch we this? We have a First Amendment right to free speech. I don't know why we like watching this Jesus guy. Years to effectively lie oh, he talks some sense. Their customers into thinking that their cereals aren't bad for them. Free speech is a beautiful and sacred, wonderful thing that plays no role in this corporate greed and false advertisement. I think it should be obvious that corporations I don't can't mind just if you make shit up and make any claims they want to. Just pull random like nonsense claims out of their ass for their product. He needs the money. Sell it. You know, like, there needs to be some truth to the claims. Like this is not a free speech Matthew issue. Matthew Higgins donated ten dollars and zero cents. Hey Brian, it was awesome. Meeting you last night at McDonald's. I wish I was able to get a pic with you. Alleged. Matthew, I, General I work every weekend around eleven. Fucking shaking their fists and wiggling in anger at this whole situation. There's nobody mean you, man. Me too. Also, the other guy to take it, take a peek at this part. Matthew, we met you at that first window where you took the payment, and then your coworker at the second window who looked at me and says, "Why do I know you?" <laughs> it's really funny. Matthew, it was lovely meeting you yesterday, puppy. Rudy, puppy. And Matthew, can you confirm I drive a sports car, please? And also that I'm actually driving. These people don't believe I drive now. The proposed FDA rule mandates that foods labeled as healthy must contain a major food group such as dairy, fruits, or whole grains and must fit certain limits on saturated fat, sodium, and added sugars. The rule limits cereals, for example, to no more than 2.5 grams of sugar per serving in order to be labeled healthy. A restriction food manufacturers claim would, would exclude over 95% of ready-to-eat cereals. Holy shit, yes. What? Which is great. That how the how the fuck does America? How come I'm the only person at my age that goes to the local shop and I buy brand flakes? I literally think my store only gets in brand flakes because someone keeps buying all of it. I think I'm the only customer under the age of eighty five. That goes in there and buys bran flakes. Or sorry. Bran. All bran wheat flakes you call it. The amount of. The amount of crazy cereal you fuckers have. Is mind blowing. Like mind blowing. Like I enjoy corn flakes. Rice krispies. Uh, bran flakes. That's it. That's my tree. I love special K. In America it tastes different. It tastes horrible. Awful. Ugh. Awful. Your cereals over here do not taste as good. But some of the fucking things you have on offer is mind-blowing. <laughs> and yeah, I've noticed some of them are like, low sugars, low this, low that, and, uh, you know, part of your five a day. Cookie Crisp, that one's criminal. But we did have Cookie Crisp back in Ireland and the UK for like a month. And then I think it got banned. That is good news. That's huge. It's about fucking time. I couldn't tell you the amount of people that for some reason are brainwashed into believing these fucking labels that their goddamn frosted flakes or whatever are healthy for them. It's it's nuts. It's that is long overdue. Among the most vocal food companies are producers of high sugar cereals which are largely marketed to children and have been criticized as a driver of the obesity epidemic in America because they are. Yeah, huge. It's sugar and carbs. It's sugar and carbs. Complex carbohydrates in a bowl with, by the way, your milk. Your milk is also full of sugar. I'm pretty confident. Opinion on moist is pretty dope. That's my opinion. That's about it. See you. And a joint filing made what? last Who month. Who doesn't love moist? Cereal producers in the country, General Mills, Kellogg's, and post-consumer He's a voice of logic in this world of nutritional mayhem. nutritional criteria and threatened to file a lawsuit. And he looks like Jesus. The guidelines is a violation of corporate free speech rights. Most cereal, like Captain Crunch, Frosted Flakes, Lucky Charms, Fruity Pebbles, are not healthy. And that it's a complete fucking sham and a joke that some of those boxes have that term plastered on the... Capitalism! It's there for one purpose. Capitalism! Woo!
You guys are so blind that these fucking higher powers are fucking you over with your health. Making you have to pay an extra premium to go to Whole Foods and get actually organic grass-fed meat. Real meat. Woo! America! Fucking hell. Coming from Ireland and seeing all the laws that the government have on food, because, like, far our country's a farming country. All we have is food. Kerry gold butter, milk, meat, wheat, you know, farmland. Our government are so strict. So strict. So fucking strict. You have to go into a McDonald's in Ireland, and you, you can backtrack the meat in that shitty little burger all the way back to the farm. By law, every single person needs to be able to track the exact timeline of where that meat got from the, ca the cow to your table. In America, you ask for that, they're like, ah. <laughs> You think, he thought that was a cow. <laughs> Listen, one purpose only, to mislead customers into thinking that what they're purchasing isn't bad for them. Crazy. Even though it's nothing but a giant fucking sugar bomb. You're purchasing just a ton of sugar, and for some reason, they've been able to call it healthy for a long time now. It's very deceptive. It's literally just false advertisement. And I don't think that's slanderous to say. I don't know if General Mills and Kellogg's are watching this, but I don't think that's slanderous. There is tons and tons of research to indicate the role in the obesity epidemic that America's been experiencing for quite some time now. Yeah, and 60 finally, years. The FDA is doing something worth The Freedom on at 9,311 donated $10. About Zero cents love you, Brian. You're the best I hope to meet you one day. More. You can't just slap healthy on anything you want to willy-nilly. Thanks, Demonic. We're going to stop being so loosey-goosey with healthy. From now on, it's going to need to adhere to stricter guidelines. I'm actually surprised they didn't double down. Instead of calling their foods healthy, I'm surprised they didn't try and say, like, doctor recommended <laughs> cinnamon toast crunch. Uh, number one pediatrician recommended Fruity Pebbles. Like, really go hog wild on trying to mislead people into thinking it's good for you. They did go hard on Fortified for a while, saying it's fortified with crucial vitamins and minerals and all that. Oh! Those ones Lene bought. Lene bought the cereal. I wonder if the cereal he's about to look up. It was like this ridiculously expensive cereal that was a small box. They were fucking delicious. But they'd be gone in like two bowls. They are like $12 a box. These really fringe cereals I don't know about. I, I can't... I, I can't... I wonder if he which, finds them. Which are healthy and what aren't of the ones you're listing. All Even, I'm saying is I'm agreeing they're like on the percent They were on like Instagram and... absolutely be uh. wiped from the healthy label because they're not... Like they're straight up not... The sugar that's present there isn't like natural sugars either, most of the time. Yeah, they're man made sugars. You can't even make it the argument that, like, oh no, but what about the cereal with 30 grams of sugar, but it's all healthy sugars? Because that's never the case. The only healthy sugars you can get, those of you that are not educated, are natural, like, fruit based sugars, like sucrose, glucose. Well, not so much glucose, but sucrose. Non complex uh, sugars. Whenever you see someone that says sugar free, that means, like, like, Organic, real sugar. None of that is in this. But it still tastes good. Because you have that fucking weird fake sugar that they put in that's proven to be carcinogen. This country's crazy. In Ireland, my mom is like super strict with looking at the ingredients and stuff and tracking calories and stuff like that. And then I came over to America and I looked at the label and I was just like, what the, what the fuck is this? Words I never heard of. It's insane. The rule, if finalized in its present form, the companies wrote, would be open to legal challenge in that it violates the First Amendment by prohibiting truthful. I just had a bit of food. I'm gonna watch this and then back to Harry Potter. And also exceeds FDA's statutory authority in several ways. It's so frightening that corporations can bully an organization whose sole goal should be the safety of the products to protect, that we to consume protect on the a people. daily basis. Nobody should want a world where corporations can pull claims out of their ass without ever having to prove them or verify their authenticity, or ensure that the claims are truthful. They are fighting tooth and nail to defend their right to literally fucking lie to customers about <laughs> how healthy their foods are. They are not- Oh, I love not being American. I love being non-American in America. And just looking around and thinking, Oh, 
Oh, you poor gullible fox. The volume is so low. Turn it up! By any stretch of imagination, by any definition, healthy. And yet they've been able to get away with using that term for so long that they refuse to let it go. Sorry. They become so accustomed to lying to their consumers that they are now throwing this massive public hissy fit, this legal, legal battle. The FDA, the Washington Legal Foundation, wrote in its brief, cannot explain why consumers cannot make their own healthy decisions based on nutrition. Like, here's the problem with America, is, is like, it's, the financial, the financial contrast between the rich and the, let's say, middle class poor. The middle class and the poor, poor even being lucky enough to even be able to afford the food that's in the basic likes of Walmart, Fred Meyer, uh, Target, whatever, just your normal food, and and they're kind of like you should be you should be grateful that we have these foods that are, you know, healthy or low in sugar, all this blah blah blah. The fact that in this country there's elite this elitist mindset of there's the whole foods thing. Uh, we have a whole shop de we have a whole other thing allocated to the rich people. If you want to get the oh sir, you would like real food right this way, please. It's like. That should be a like a like a human right. <laughs> that should be a a basic like a human right. We have access to water. You know, it's like in America, you can have like this. I don't know this non-sugar feel. Like, this is probably a terrible analogy, but like we all should have the right to access to water. Oh well, basically, kind of like in in your taps is full of fluoride and all this absolute bullshit. You should you should be have access to good clean H two O. It's the same thing when it comes to food. You should, if I want to buy chicken, I should be just getting chicken. And not this... Matthew Higgins donated $10 and zero cents. You should come chemical, back through. Chemical, like, steroid enhanced chicken car. to profit is to, you know, to exaggerate yield in order to benefit, like, the con... Fluoride is good for you, Brian. I don't know where that one. Fluoride helps teeth. In how, how, in, in how many levels? Have you seen some of the, the some, some of the tests that they did in my state in Washington State of the fluoride levels in water? And they did other tests on, on levels of stuff. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's like saying vitamin C is, is good for you. You don't you don't try and overdose on vitamin C. <laughs> it's just it's this, this shit, the amount of fluoride that they were, like, coming up in these water tests. It was insane. You can't say, like, that's the thing is, like, they're told, oh, fluoride's good for you. And <laughs> probably it's the same thing as, like, zinc or iron or whatever. It's like, these these metals that are in your body are good for you. And then when it gets to a certain level, <laughs> then you're, you're going to fucking die. Additional labeling data. Rather, it seeks to so limit it's... the food company's speech. Oh my god, it's like listening to someone cry victim on Twitter, but from a corporation. What are you talking about, man? You're just blatantly lying on your products. Obesity is on like an absolute astronaut. I'm going to overdose vitamin And you're C. slapping healthy on some of the foods that are a big contributor of it. What are you talking about? The group does not disclose its donors and did not respond to a request for comments. In previous years, the Corn Refiners Association... Is that a thing? You have to disclose... Do you... Is, should there be a thing? Is there a thing? Where you're able to, uh, if if uh, private donors to a corporation, should that not be public knowledge? Especially at the year-end tax thing? Surely, what? How can you do that? Is that the FDA has, has private donors? Where was that part? Where was, where was that? Oh, the group. Okay, who's the group? Who's the group? The group does not disclose its donors and did not spend to request for a comment. Who exactly is this group? The group filed... So this is the, the group of the corporations, the food corporations. Lobby group that... Pre oh, that a, lob a lobby group. Yeah, so what companies... And Kellogg's and the like. The fructose corn syrup industry has disclosed financial ties to the Washington Legal Foundation. Can't believe that. Drug companies, including Purdue Pharma, the makers of OxyContin, have used the Washington Legal Foundation to challenge government rules and establish... This is so fucking interesting. America is fucking bizarre. ...establish legal president to reduce the ability for prosecutors to seek criminal charges for drug company executives. You love a story with, a, with some...
You know, I would not be surprised if there's a huge thing involved in drug companies, especially for diabetes, like companies that specialize in the likes of diabetes or, you know, sugar, glucose, obesity, fat burning, stuff like that. It's like America is the world's perfect little cogwheel. And it just keeps spinning. And it keeps resulting in more little pawns in a certain area like obesity. Oh, you go into that line over there. Oh, mental health. You go into that line over there. Oh, you know, whatever into this line over here. And then all these little private, comp you know, companies doing their private like donations to keep things going. They just want to keep that little cogwheel spinning. America is crazy. Crazy. That's why whenever someone comes to me about gun stuff and saying guns, guns are not the problem, Brian. I, said, I never say guns are the problem. Mental health is a huge problem. Putting like eight year old kids on this medicine for ADHD because they have too much energy because these parents are fucking dog shit and can't handle a hyperactive child. Because they're a child. Because that's what kids do. They have a lot of energy. Heroes you can root for, like the Washington Legal Foundation. Play with them. The little guys. Make them do sports. Like drug company executives. Parent! The joint filing from cereal manufacturers not only scorn the labeling rules, but also argue that sugary cereals pose no health risks and are, in, in fact, beneficial to society and childhood health. Love that. <laughs> what a great play. <laughs> sugary cereals pose no health risks and are, in fact, beneficial. <laughs> oh, that's such a good quote. Oh, that's so America. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, that's actually in black and white. Oh, sugary cereals pose no health risk. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that's actually really funny. <laughs> oh, fuck. I wonder if the guy that said that, like, saw the guy writing that down. I was like, oh, actually, um... That's not what I meant, and that <laughs> the guy's leaving. No, 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 I'm out of here, I gotta catch my bus. Same. I wonder if he's gonna say, this is, this is using this as a scapegoat. Oh, but it's, it's like, it's like, uh, it's like a, it's like a YouTuber. It's like a YouTuber that gets caught out doing something or whatever. Oh, but he's a great guy, he does charity work. Oh, Brian's a great, Brian, he raised so much money. No, Brian, I didn't raise fucking money, you guys donated to me. I could easily just turn around and say, oh, but I'm a great guy. Look how much money I raised for charity. That's my guess is going to happen here. That these companies always have this fucking charity that when, you know, blah, blah, blah. oh, don't look at the health stuff. We do. We look at these programs. Are we great? It's candy in the morning. It is. It is literally candy in the morning. No, he's not going to say And it. yet they're here with a straight face saying that it's nutrient dense. Well, it is one of the most nutrient dense breakfast choices a person, adult or child can make. Oh man, this is so fun. How does this just keep getting worse? The company's charged that cereal delivers on nutrition when eaten alone, but when consumed as <laughs> Dirt is nutri nutrient dense, dude. The soil has lots of nutrients. <laughs> That's such a weird observation. Yeah, you could say that. Breakfast, it elevates the nutrition further with cereal eaters exhibiting an overall higher diet quality. As evidence, the filings cites a 2019 study conducted by in-house researchers employed by General Mills, the maker of Lucky Charms, Cinnamon Toast Crunch, and Trix, among other brands. They're doing it again, right in front of our face. What? Well, the, their own paid-for research? Companies charge... Sorry, I was too busy laughing at your dirt joke. Companies charge that cereal delivers on, on nutrition when eaten alone, but when consumed as part of a breakfast, it elevates the nutrition further. What? Delivers on nutrition when eaten alone. Companies charge that cereal delivers on nutrition when eaten alone, but when consumed as part of breakfast, it elevates the nutrition further. So that's like saying... Cereal gives you blah, 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 X amount of nutrients or whatever. It's 50 calories. But can give you 75 calories when also eating with a banana. Like, that's... It, like, it's saying when you eat other stuff, it gives you more nutrients. Because you're eating other things. Hey, so do you guys remember, and I've talked about it a lot, but some Seven of you might also remember. Study there was a period of time not that long ago, like 25, 30-ish years. Why would you ever listen to a research provided by a company on their own shit? You get like an independent, you get like, 
Your own independent research done. Years ago, where the entire America, all of America, vilified fat. They said the fat in our food is making us fat. This is why we're getting obese because of fat in our food. And sugar was. It's not fat, it's sugar. It's sugar. Sugar, sugar, sugar. That's why I've never been one. Now, I might be a hypocrite later on to brand deal with a, with a company for drinks. So if, I, if that does happen, I'm a fucking hypocrite. But I've, I've never done like a lot. I, I don't think I've done many or if any um, like drinks for gaming. I don't believe in it. I don't believe in taking it. Now, it depends on what's, what's in the drink. But if I did research and found out that there's levels of sugar in these drinks to give you like more energy or whatever, is then just sitting down and not burning off that en that sugar or energy that's going into the body because when you don't burn it off, basic biology, your body then turns it into an energy store which is phospholipids, which is fat. That's that's just science. It's just the way it works. So if you if you don't do enough exercise or burn off enough calories. To then put yourself in a, a calorific deficit, your body is just going to take that energy that you put into your body, store it into your... No, I'm not having shots of Tyler. No, 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 no. I'm, like, I don't even know what's inside. I'm talking about sugar. There are, there's loads of different companies. Now, don't try and say I'm having shots of Tyler. No. But there, I'm, sure, I'm sure there's some sugar in some of them. That's why I just don't feel comfortable because I feel like me, go, I go to the gym... And I do a lot of sports that I just, like, even here, like, I'm still drinking a, mo a Monster Energy. So, like, I'm not perfect by any means. I know I'm going to take in so zero sugar, by the way, uh, and then sit here, and I'm going to store onto my little pl my little plunger here. But that's, it's, it's basically what it is. You take sugar in, and if you don't burn it off by doing exercise or moving, all this requires energy. All this here, and if you don't do it enough... I don't know how much energy you're doing this and fucking moving your moving your You need to, you know, put yourself into a calorific deficit. I was actually looked at. That's how you just. That's how guy. fat happens. Those studies were paid for by you don't companies see belly. like this that were trying to placate their responsibility for the contribution they played to the obesity epidemic. Oh, the agency they wrote should recognize the beneficial role of sugar. Sugar plays a role in foods beyond palatability. It controls water activity, creates texture, adds bulk, and also contributes the. Adds, it fucking does add bulk, all right. Fucking yeah. adds bulk and contributes to flavor complexity. It creates texture. It plays role in foods beyond palatability. It controls water activity. So is this like giving you facts on what sugar can do in the baking process? The flavor complexity. <laughs> it adds, it creates we actually, texture. We are literally going back in time. Literally <laughs> going back in time. They're trying to make sugar a hero again. Sugar is actually really good for you. It is healthy to eat 30 grams of sugar in the morning with our cereal. Independent research, however, it found that diets high in processed foods and sugar intake are le linked to obesity, diabetes, higher risk of stroke, obesity-related cancers, hypertension, and dental diseases. You don't say. You're telling me that the research that wasn't paid for by the actual sh But that's how the economy works, I've noticed, is create problems and have companies for resolution, services, dentists, cause dental problems, have dentists. Economy. You know what I mean? It's like we need to cause problems. They eat this. It causes this problem. Some obesity. Some dental problem. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, we have some, There we go. Economy. Economy. Keep having a requirement and a necessity for all these services. Sugar. Interesting. Producing cereal. Interesting. I'm beginning to see things. The more, the more he's talking, I'm beginning to like, wow, holy shit. It's like, it's like, like I said, it's constantly that wheel that needs to spin. But I'm now there thinking, holy fuck. There's always a service. There's a fucking ton of dentists around here. A ton. I was like, in Ireland, you have like one dentist in like an area. Maybe two. There's like four right down the road from me all around each other. <laughs> like, company. Holy shit. Said now, something totally different. And I know the population difference is a bit different from Ireland, but fuck. 
That I just can't believe. Oh, really? Really? Yes. Really? Really, YouTube? Really? 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 Okay. All right. I'm just watching. I go from moist to that. Okay. All right. Nice. You couldn't have waited till offline, maybe, to show that? No, okay. I ain't fucking watching this shit. I'll be in it way too much. Way too much. Right, we're playing games. Ah. <sighs>